Season 9 in Overwatch 2 is called Champions and set to release on February 13th. With a lot of updates, there will be a large pass on competitive play with a rank reset and live progress tracking during ranked matches. It includes new cosmetics like jade-styled weapons, a new mythic skin for Moira based on a Lovecraftian-style horror, which is also vaguely reminiscent of a Warcraft old god, a variety of new skins and additional features. Overwatch 2 has had many updates over the years, especially when it transformed from a 6v6 game in Overwatch to a 5 v5 game in Overwatch 2. However, this latest season update is one of the biggest I've seen in recent memory. There's a large array of improvements including the ability to track your ranked progress for each game mid-match, it's the perfect time for new players to jump in and play. In the teaser trailer, it looked like there is also a new map for us to explore which is great to have, and I am pleased to see the variance in what Blizzard is bringing to the table for this update. With the addition of new skins, there is also a full competitive rework. There were a lot of people complaining about Overwatch 2's 5 v5 system, so this update could prove useful in adding more substance to what the game has to offer in said 5v5. In addition to there also being a full competitive rank reset to accommodate the new gameplay style, rumors have suggested that Overwatch 2 will now include some regenerating health even for DPS classes, which should ease the flow of the game and help people get back into the action more quickly. The trailer also showed that Moira has descended into darkness as part of what appears to be a new PvE map, complete with a cosmic horror boss and mythic skin to match. Jade weapons being added are a nice surprise too. At BlizzCon 2023, they were shown, like gold weapons, jade weapons are purely cosmetic and changes the hero's weapon color when equipped, regardless of their skin. While this addition gives more variety to the game, a portion of the player base doesn't seem to welcome it well. So it's nice to see that they made their way into the game as an actual add-on for players. In addition to all of the new things coming in this new season, Hero Mastery, Gauntlet, which is a new co-op mode with tower defense gameplay, looks fun and is something fresh for Overwatch. Blizzard is giving endorsements more impact. According to Blizzard, they said, a common theme of feedback we've heard is to give endorsements greater impact. In the last few seasons, we have already made significant steps to deliver on that. In the Season 7 mid-season update, we implemented multiple bug fixes that prevented players from dropping their endorsement rating too quickly and stopped penalizing players who chose to group up with their friends. In Season 8, it is now easier for players to build their endorsement rating than ever before, without worrying about their rating decaying too quickly. There's also a rule that friends can't endorse each other. While this was intentional when we first introduced endorsements, we don't want to discourage anyone from celebrating their teammates, even if they are already friends on Battle.net. So, starting in Season 9, we're removing the restriction to endorse players if you are already friends. On update to discouraging leavers, Blizzard said, we've previously shared that we adjusted how players who leave too many games in quick play are penalized. This has yielded some positive results, with the number of leavers dropping significantly. In previous game update, players are restricted from queuing for games and can be suspended for up to 4 hours if they leave 6 of their last 20 games played. Starting in Season 9, we're extending these lever queue restrictions to Mystery Heroes, along with Hero Mastery, Gauntlet, when it is released later this year. Again, we acknowledge there may be reasons for players to step away from their unranked games. However, leaving 4 or more games will activate queue restrictions until you can play your games to completion. On players who's cheating, Blizzard said, our efforts to fight against cheating are ongoing, and we're pleased to share our continued progress. Cheats like aimbots and wall hacks take away the competitive integrity of our game. Using cheats also goes against our in-game code of conduct and end-user license agreement. Those identified using cheats will be removed from playing Overwatch 2. Since the launch of Overwatch 2, we have identified and banned over 380,000 accounts that were found to be cheating. In addition, we have suspended or banned over 35,000 accounts that have knowingly grouped up with cheaters. Remember, if you encounter a player in your games that you suspect to be cheating, report them in-game. On transparency, they said, Overwatch 2 is a highly competitive PvP hero shooter, and players enjoy different heroes and play styles. This creates exciting matches among friends and players worldwide, but unfortunately, some players may become disruptive and harm that experience for others. When a player is reported across multiple matches, we will take action to suspend or silence those players and will notify them by email when we do. If necessary, we've been repeat offenders from playing on that account. It's important to be making sure we are being fair and transparent when we communicate to a player about taking action on their account. We've seen a trend in online communities when players share about getting their accounts suspended or banned. In most cases, many of these cases often prove that a player is disruptive, but there are also some cases where we can do a better job at addressing disruptive behavior. If you feel you've been actioned unfairly because someone else may have compromised your account, you may choose to appeal the action and we'll review and make a final decision. Keep in mind that you are responsible for your account and should not share it with others for any reason. Remember, saying anything that harasses or ridicules your teammates is inappropriate, regardless 
regardless of any language used. When you play Overwatch, you are playing with up to 9 other players who are just as passionate to play as you are, so it's up to each of us to make each game the best it can be. Thanks for making Overwatch 2 a fun and positive experience for everyone. We'll see you in Season 9 launches on February 13th. Overall, a lot is coming to this game that from the looks of it will improve the substance of the package, while also addressing some long-term feedback about how 5v5 has played out so far. We will see what old and new players will think in the coming weeks. Finally, Blizzard also teased what appears to be a collaboration with acclaimed anime series Cowboy Bebop, with the show's music playing towards the end of the trailer. Hopefully, there will also be other bug fixes and improvements to address some long-standing quirks with the new client. With the launch happening next week, I'm sure fans are waiting with bated breath and shaky controls in excitement.